Hello and welcome. My name is Brian Kaplan, editor of The Banker. I'm here with Kimberly Long, the Asia editor, and we're looking at the top 1,000 results as they affect the Asia region. So, Kimberly, I mean, uh, another year in which the Chinese banks have done extremely well. Can you give us a bit of a, a contour of how well they've done? Yes, the Chinese banks now are taking up the top four places in the top 1,000 ranking. Right, which, which is, is the first time they've done that. Yes, it's an incredible result. Um, and all of them have increased the capital by between 12 and 20 percent, so it's top four. So that's a really substantial increase there. Okay, so the interesting thing that, about that, of course, is that, uh, that they're growing the capital. So they're growing the assets as well, but obviously they're keeping up in terms of, of, of the capital, which means that they reduce the risk in the system to some extent. Mm -hmm. Now, what about the, the smaller banks? Because there's lots of banks uh, from China that are in there for the first time or growing up the ranking. Yeah, definitely. There's been a great increase as well with the smaller banks too. So what we're looking at is that we've seen eight of them increase by capital by 50% as well over the, over the last year in the ranking. So it's been a fantastic result, I think, definitely for the Chinese banks this year. Um, and even though on the country ranking list, it might not look like there's been that much change. Actually, when you look at the top 1,000 overall, you can see that these smaller banks are really starting to move up because of their own increased levels of capital. Okay. All right. Now, there's a big contrast between what's happened in China mm -hmm. and what's happened in India. So tell us a little bit about what's been going on in well, India. Well, I think India on the surface might look like it's not going so well. But really, when because you take they, into... Because they had the biggest losses of any bank, set of banks in the world. They did yeah. indeed. But when you take into account how they've been given more stricter rules of how to operate in capital controls, actually what we've seen is that there's more of a realignment. So I, th I do think that maybe in the next year or two, because they're now complying with much more stricter terms and right. the um, non-performing non loans. And what we're seeing really, of better. course, is the Reserve Bank of India mm -hmm. is, is, is getting tough with the banks, you know, yes. and especially the public-owned, the state-owned banks that have, you know, lent badly in the past. Mm -hmm. And so they're now really kind of sort of getting them into shape. Is that your reading of it? Yes, definitely. And I think it's only going to be something that's positive for the Indian banks as well in terms of if it's going to create more interest in investment, say, in the future. There's more certainty around the actual kind of yeah, solidity so, so the, of the banks. So benefits will come Yes, through. definitely, yeah. All right, so let, let's turn to the rest of, the, uh, of Asia. Mm -hmm. So we've got this fantastic performance by China. Um, mm -hmm. But what about some of the other countries? I mean, they haven't been sort of resting on their laurels. No, certainly not. I think the rest of Asia has also had a really great year as well. I mean, if you just look at like South Korea, for example, um, they've actually had greater growth than China. It's just that they have a lower starting point. So there's a lot of more capital yeah. increase that's across the whole region. Yeah. And uh, what about Thailand and Hong Kong? Are they, they also doing well? Equally, yes, they're also doing incredibly well. South Korea, Singapore, Taiwan and Thailand have all outpaced China in terms of growth. And how do Asian banks measure up, if, if, we, if we measure profitability of the region against other regions, I mean, how are they doing? Yeah, if you look at the regions overall, Africa actually takes the top spot, but yeah. that's because of the way that's that... in terms of return on capital. Yes, the way that Asia's kind of divided up is that there is the China, um, Japan and APAC, but if you actually combine them overall, the region is performing the best. Okay. Kimberly, thank you very much. Thank you.